What's going on everybody? TK here. Today we're back in Borderlands 3 with an alternative build for Flak. While the crit show build is amazing for bosses, it lacks mobbing capability. With this build, which I've taken to be calling the Ant-Man build since we're using the Scorcher Spider Ant for our pet, can handle circular slaughter round 5 with ease solo. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Let me just reset our skills here really quick. There are a few things that we do have to have out of the skill tree in order to make this thing work. First and foremost, in the green tree, we need to have at least two points into all my BFFs, so that way our pet will get about 33% of health regen for that we have. In the blue tree, we want to make sure we get far enough down to pick up Empathic Rage and Endurance. Empathic Rage will increase our damage dealt by Flak while Gamma Burst is active. And Endurance with the Gamma Burst active, each kill that we get and the pet gets, it extends its duration. After that point, all the points can go in the red tree, and I'll show y'all what I like to use there. So, self repairing system, we're gonna pick up all five for 1.5 max health per second, and plus 30% max health. Then we're also gonna put two points into all my BFFs. That's going to be it for the green tree. Under the blue tree, we're going to put two points into Ferocity for increased pet damage, three points for Persistence Hunter to get further down the tree, five points into Frenzy, or more damage per Frenzy stack, and two Rescue Q so that when the pet deals damage, we are healed, and then when we deal damage, the pet's healed. Gamma Burst is going to be our skill, and again, Empathic Rage and Endurance are our modifiers. Under the red tree, I like grabbing all five of an interplanetary stalker, three points into head count, and so that way we can get down to two fang, we go back up and put two points into no trace, three points into the most dangerous game for that extra damage once we've killed a badass enemy, which there are tons of in Circle of Slaughter. We can put two points here. That way we can pick up Galactic Shadow for increased crit damage and enemies are less likely to attack me, which is awesome because again, we want to make sure that they are focusing that pet. Three points into Flock and Load. Not flock and load, excuse me, big game, so that we get more, um, our hunter skills uh, effect lasts longer and the duration is longer. And we got one more point down to get the capstone, so let's throw another point into leave no trace, and then megavore. So in the end, your skill tree is going to look something like that, and spider and scorcher is our bet for the health region. This build is all about getting health regen for Flak because that in turn is going to be shared with the pet. As far as gear goes, this build is dead in the water without the Red Fang mod. Red Fang lets the pet taunt enemies when you activate Gamma Burst. Once you have used Gamma Burst, all you have to do is keep doing damage so that the pet will stay alive. Your job is to focus down the badasses, then turrets, then the smaller trash enemies in that order. By taking things down like this, the Circle of Slaughter should be a breeze. While round 5 Circle of Sl Slaughter is going in the back, let's go over some of the gear that we need to help make this build work. As we said, without a Red Fang mod, this build will not work at all. I got lucky and mine rolled with perfect perks for the Maggie Pistol. For shields, I tried several, but I ended up liking the stopgap. The invulnerability that you get when the shield breaks is amazing. If you have one that rolls with health regen when shields are full, even better because that is also shared with the pet. For grenade you have a little bit of flexibility. Um, the main thing you want is something that hits a lot of enemies all at once. For me, I use the reoccurring hex. I'm going to let the game footage keep rolling in the background so you can watch the build in action, get a feel of how it works. Um, thank you all for sticking with me to the end. If you enjoy the, the content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future uploads. If you want to get on the action live, be sure to catch me at twitch.tv forward slash tibbercat where I did stream daily. And that's going to be it for me, folks, so I'm going to see y'all later. I 
Giants. 